what's going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for tuning back in so today i got a special little unboxing for you guys i'm gonna be opening up the scorpion vc 150 hg this reel was actually released in 2021 in japan and you know i've always wanted the older version of this scorpion and for whatever reason i never pulled the trigger but i seen this one this is the newest version and i just had to have it so i ordered this reel from japan it actually just arrived today let's go ahead and open it up and see how it looks so we got the little papers as expected no english whatsoever on here and for those of you that don't know you can't just go into the store and buy this this is actually a jdm reel so i'm pretty excited this is my first ever jdm reel this is how she looks guys that is a beautiful beautiful reel right here and i believe this reel right here actually has the idc5 system so if we open this up to open hit this little clip right here we'll be able to see what's on the inside so let's remove this side plate all right so from my understanding these are the different settings for your line so for example right here this f if you're going to be using fluorocarbon this is the setting that you want to be in if you're going to be using um, nylon or monofilament you're going to want to use that n so this right here the n is for your monofilament line and then the p is for your braid so let me pop this back in hit close so now this little external dial is basically going to be your brake settings I believe it has five different settings so it has one two three four and this fifth one has a w and i believe that's for the windiest conditions i mean overall it looks like a beautiful reel guys so i think now the next step is going to be to spool it up and then i'll let you guys know what i think about it this is actually a seven to four ratio so it's just a great all-around reel feels very smooth right here on the side i'm not sure if you guys can see that clearly but we got the little scorpion design on the tension knob that's a good looking reel guys all right guys so i'm actually going to be pairing this reel up with this guggen squad gold go-to rod and this combo is basically just going to be an all-around good combo for just about anything so if i can only bring one combo with me most likely this is going to be the one that i'm going to be taking but something that i found pretty interesting is if you see in here on the spool you got these little holes on each side but then you only have them right here on the right side so i'm assuming that's basically just to have a better balanced spool but we're gonna go ahead and see how that pans out let's go ahead and spool it all right guys so we got the scorpion all spooled up i ended up going with 12 pound red label cigar just because i think that's gonna be a good overall line for any bait that i'm gonna throw so right now I'm in the fluorocarbon setting. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the brakes on number three, just because it's gonna be the first cast. Let's go ahead and see how she does. All right, so I just light casted that one. But just from the retrieve, it feels like it's gonna be butter. Just trying to adjust the tension knob so I have no side to side play. Should be good right there. All right, all right. Got a little bit more distance right there. Still being conservative though. <laughs> That's just beautiful. 
beautiful. You gotta love that sound too. All right guys, so it's been a couple weeks since I recorded the unboxing of this Scorpion DC and I've been throwing it, but I haven't been able to hook up. Hopefully we're able to change that today. Let's go ahead and start off with this T-Ray again, see what happens. It's not big. <sighs> there we go. Got a lot of trash with him, but this is the first one with that scorpion, guys. Where is it? It's a little dude. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I felt that bite. It was pretty subtle, but we got him in. But yeah, guys, I mean, I've been using the Scorpion for a couple weeks now, and this thing is buttery smooth. I would definitely say, if you're thinking about grabbing this reel, don't even hesitate this is a great reel this is probably my favorite one of all of the ones that i have right now but let's go ahead and get this guy in hook then get the release thanks for the bite little dude there he goes back into the cover All right, guys, so we made a move to a different part of the lake to see if we could get at least one more, but we were not able to make it happen. But I'm just pumped that we finally got to break in the new combo. But like I said, I mean, if you're thinking about grabbing this reel, definitely do not hesitate. This is a great reel. It feels great in the hand, very palmable, and it just casts really smooth. If you guys want to see more reviews and unboxings, please let me know. Maybe I'll do a rod and reel arsenal video as well if you guys would like to see that. But I think for now, we're going to go ahead and end it here. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.